Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maaike. Today's video is going to be one out of five parts of my annual decluttering series. I am posting all five parts in March. Part one is going to be eyeshadow palettes. Part two is going to be base products, so foundations, etc. Part three is going to be cheek products, so blush, bronzer, highlight. Part four is going to be lips and part five is going to be everything eye related that is not an eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm, I'm doing one of these videos every single year and I feel that these need a disclaimer, they just do. Uh, step number one, you need to know about my makeup collection that I don't get a whole lot of PR. I buy most of my makeup myself, meaning I carefully select the products that I decide to buy, which makes it a lot more difficult to declutter. So I'm not going to get rid of like 50% of everything I own. And when I get rid of things, it's usually because it's too old or I'm no longer interested in it or whatever the reason might be. So that also means, and this is disclaimer number two, that I won't be sending any makeup to people who ask for it. I'm not going to be putting this in giveaways. I personally feel very uncomfortable sending used makeup to people that I don't know. So that's something that you do need to know. And disclaimer number three, I am now realizing that my makeup collection is becoming like is getting to that stage where I have products that I'm willing to use and like, yes, I want to use this. But then I also have some products that I would like to keep around for video purposes. So for comparisons or for like video ideas that I have in the future. So I will be taking some products out, but then I will put in like a box or something for future reference and then I'll get rid of it. Or I'll, I just want to have like a space where I keep products for referencing purposes. So that's something that I'm also going to be doing in today's video. So I really hope you enjoy watching this uh, and let's just get to the declutter. Welcome to my lipstick declutter. And I sort of have one drawer in my four drawer unit here where I keep my lipsticks as well as perfumes. Currently there are also face palettes in here which I would like to move out. So if you wanna see whether I manage to do that, whether I declutter enough, of my blush, bronzer, bronzer, highlight, and face palette collection, make sure to click the eye above because I already put that video up. Um, but yeah, I also keep some like other miscellaneous things in here like uh, brushes, spare brushes, brush cleaner, and right here in the back I have my backups, which I don't have too many of. Anything that was in there that I think can be part of the declutter is part of the declutter, but that just has like a couple of mascaras that I want to keep on hand because I was afraid they were going to be discontinuing those. But yeah, we're talking lips today, so that's what we will be focusing on. So let's get to the declutter. Right, so welcome to all of the lipsticks that I have. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a bit much here. And I definitely don't use all of it anymore. However, I do have to say that ever since I used up one of these, uh, I now also know how long it takes to use up a lipstick. Uh, so i very, very, very well aware that this is way, way, way too much. Let's start with this box in the back, because once we've tackled that, I can move everything forward a little bit, um, or to the back so we have some space. In here, there are some new Lisa Edridge lipsticks that I definitely want to keep. So I will be putting these to the side, but these were currently, did they just didn't have a home because it didn't fit anywhere. And I also have a couple of these Asian Beauty lip products. This is the Peri Peri Ink Gelato Lip Stain, and this doesn't do anything in terms of staining. So I want to get rid of this. But these two, the Peri Peri uh, Ink Airy Stick uh, Velvet in Warmy Red was really nice. And the 3CE Mellow Flower, really lovely products. Would like to hang on to those. Everything else that's in here are Catrice and Essence lipsticks. And one very lone ColourPop lippy sticks. They sent me the wrong product. This is just another standard red. I haven't used it. I'll put it in a giveaway. Um, and everything else in here are lipsticks that I bought to do videos on. And then I, I put the shades I wanted to keep in my collection. Or I have yet to do a video on these. So these black ones I'm going to take out. Because these are the new full satin ones. And when I'm filming this video... I just purchased these and I still have to do my video. So I don't know yet which ones I like and which ones I don't do like. But there's one of these in there and this is the Catrice Demi Matte Lipstick in 
uh, most flattering petal pink and out of all of those matte lipsticks I just didn't like this shade on me so I'm going to get rid of that and the same goes for everything else that's in here so these are the Catrice power plumping gel lipsticks one of those I loved and used up but this one these ones I just didn't like so these I'll put to the side and the same goes for these essence this is me nude lipsticks really lovely lipsticks but there was only one shade that I loved that I would thought was unique enough to my collection to keep so these I am going to declutter and sadly since I did lip swatches on all of these I cannot give them away to anyone uh, and this box I can now use for like products that I want to hang on, hang on to for reviews. So now that we've got some space, these are all of my like lip balms, lip, lip treatments, all that kind of stuff. This is the Lip Scrub by Catrice. This is super old, so it needs to go. This chapstick by, yeah, chapstick from the US. This is also very old. It's the medicated one, and I have a fresh one in here, so I'd rather start using that. This is the lip balm I'm currently using, so I'll keep that. This is a super interesting product by Catrice, like both of these, they are very new and I have to try them. But I'll get rid of this uh, Catrice Beautifying Lip Balm because I have those other products now. And everything else that is in here, I actually want to keep. <laughs> um, because it's like a little Laneige lip thingy and a, NYX, uh, a Nooks Rev the Meal, which I want to start using when my current nighttime lip balm is uh, finished. And then I have my other chapstick in here and I just have a couple of like backups and I can actually take this out to put in my shop my stash because this is the elf lip exfoliator and this is a bit newer to me than the Catrice one so I can use that to exfoliate my lips over the other one so this is not going to change a whole lot this is just the way it's gonna go all right um, and then over here yeah, let, let's go through this, because this is overflow. <laughs> this is all the stuff that I could no longer fit anywhere else. And actually it was a cubby for lip pencils. Do you know how often I use lip pencil? Never, I never, ever use lip pencil. The only ones I still sometimes use are these ones by Charlotte Tilbury. This is Pillow Talk and Pink Venus. So I'll hang on to those, and I will hang on to, is it staunchly stylish? No, sore. Where's sore? Yeah, I'll hang on to sore because it goes with Mare. I, I, I literally bought that as a combo, but these other ones by MAC, and I don't think you can back to MAC lip pencils, so uh, I'll just uh, put those in my declutter because I'm not going to keep those. Then in here we have, as I mentioned, overflow. So products that just don't fit anywhere else. Um, one of them is this Illa Masca lipstick that is super old. It needs to go. And the reason why I never really use it is because it's just so tough to apply. Like it like tugs on your lips. It's just not, not very pleasurable. This is the Koki liquid lipstick. I bought this to try. Wasn't a fan. Going to get rid of it. And these L'Oreal... I, these are the, their latest like liquid lip lacquer type of thing. Lovely product, really lovely, very thin formula. It just, I just felt this dried out my lips too much. And I usually like a drying lip product, but for some reason, these ones, I wasn't a fan. Let me see what else is in here. So also in here is a little Sephora liquid lipstick. I love that shade. This long comb lipstick, should just go to a museum because I've had it for a while. I have a little uh, lipstick container with like more luxury lipsticks up on my shelf, so I'll put it in there. And then I have this makeup designery lipstick, which is like a great fire engine red. I wanna hang on to that. And then I have this Bite lipstick that I got as a freebie when I went to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab, but it currently doesn't fit with my other Bite lipsticks, so I just need to find a spot for that. This baby peachy nude shade by Too Faced. I think it's really cute and I, I think I can use that up. So we'll keep that. This Matte Moselle lip, lipstick by uh, Fenty is really pretty too. I bought this little like sampler kit from Sephora so to try. And I bought these little minis by Pat McGrath. And these are really pretty, but do you see what's happened to this? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way or whether this is a sign that they've gone bad because 
Some of these have a complete like white ring around them, like this one as well, like most of it is like white. I don't know what's going on with these, but they are really lovely shades. Like this is the one that doesn't have it. But yeah, I, I haven't had these for very long, so I would like to keep, uh, keep around these minis. I have all of these lip crayon type of products, and I'm gonna have to be very honest with you, I never really reach for these a lot because I have all of this already. So I think I just need to declutter a ton of these. Yeah, I do. I do want to keep, I think, didn't I have three of these? Or did I just have the two? I think I just bought the two. These are the Maybelline uh, Superstay ink crayons. These I just haven't given enough of a try, so I want to try those more. I love this ColourPop one, so I want to keep that. And I really like my two, well, I like one more than the other. Where's the shade again? Uh, I think I'll keep HD Dawn by Revlon, but I'll get rid of the other one. And I think... Oh, but these are so nice. No! These e.l.f. ones are expired. I noticed that as I was using them for my full face of e.l.f. Oh yeah, this like watermelony shade. This is HD Rhubarb. Keep that. Those are really nice and creamy. This Maybelline one is super old, even though I love the shade of that. And then I have these Premier lipsticks by Zoeva that I've never even used, but... Uh, they're swatched them, I put them on my face, but I never really used them. This is another one of those Oliva ones. This Hema one I keep around all the time because it's a really nice, lovely, bright, corally shade, but I never reach for it, so that needs to go. And then these, I think, are all Essence and Catrice, aren't they? The Matte Lover, this Essence one can go. And this is a really nice one. This is the Lip Dresser Shine Stilo in I Carry the Watermelon, and I love this shade. So, so pretty. Yeah, I'll hang on to that. And these are the Matte Lovers. You know what? I have so many other Catrice lipsticks that I really don't need to keep these. But I do really like this, this one. Like, Tomato Red is fab. But I have so many reds, so I really don't need it. An unexpected mauve was a really nice mauve nude. So Bordeaux is like a nudie red. Oh, I, I need to get rid of these. I just have too many lipsticks. And then over here, we have my fun lipstick products. And I made this cubby, cubby last time to have more unusual products in here, like unusual shades and like glittery top coats and things like that. And I think I don't want to get rid of any of these. Let me see what I have in here. Oh, maybe there's a few things in here that I, I do want to get rid of. Oh, this is a, a just a regular lip lacquer by Essence that I can get rid of. That, that doesn't need to go in here. Um, and also this one, Degeneration Plump and Shine by Catrice, that can go, like, again, I try those products out for videos, and then I never use them again. So let me see what's even in here. This Topshop one I'm going to get rid of. This is Armor, and this is a rose gold metallic. It's super duper pretty. Like, it has a really nice shine to it, but it just... I, I'm still not sure how I feel about metallic lipstick. This one I want to keep. This is Eclectic Lilac by Catrice. This was limited edition. Look at that packaging. And this is really pretty as, like, a topper in the center of the lid. Like, you don't... Or, in the center of the lip. You don't want to wear this on its own. Why is this packaging faulty? Um, so that I want to keep. And then I have the green and the blue lipstick by Essence. And I just really wanted to keep these around just for like fun. If I want to have a bit of fun and a playtime, like will I wear this to work? No, but makeup is fun, you guys. And these were, I believe, discontinued. And my only lip gloss that I like, oh, it still smells okay. It's like a peachy nude. It's by Dior. It was limited edition. And this is really nice, again, for like topping something off in like the center of the lip, if you want to go for that look. And that's the only way I will use lip gloss. This one I did a like by Essence. Not sure why it ended up in there. 
And this is a glitter switch liquid lipstick by Essence. Uh, so they took the idea by Ciate and just made it a more affordable version. And I do really like that shade. So yeah, this still smells okay. I can keep that around. And then these are my like unusual lipstick shades. So I have OG Ghoulish by LA Splash. Let me smell this. Still smells fine, so I can keep that. I have this vinyl lip lacquer by NYX. And in terms of navy blue lips, it is super messy and super sticky, but it is one of the best ones that I found. Like a year ago or so, I wanted to find a good blue lip lacquer. And this still smells okay. This is in the shade Rebel, and I really like that. So it's not my favorite because it transfers like no tomorrow, but for like something fun. In terms of like navy blue liquid lipstick, it doesn't get much better than the Anastasia one in Nocturnal. Anastasia is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks formulas, so that's why I wanted to own it. And this is just, look at that difference. Like this shears out, whereas this one doesn't. Still smells good, so I can hang on to that. And then I have purples. I have this lip lacquer by Catrice. This is in the shade Lavender Pop. This also came in a navy, but since it transferred too much, and I had other navies I like better, I kept this around last time. And this one, like look at that. It's so much fun. And it's still good to go. So keeping that. And then we have LA Splash's uh, Lip Tint Mousse in Bellatrix. I think it was rebranded to Belladonna. And this, ooh, this smells really bad. This I've had for a long time. So this is more like a indigo shade. Yeah, this, this smells rank, so this needs to go. And then the area where I probably need to declutter the most, and that's liquid lipsticks. I, I just don't wear these anymore. <laughs> like, not a lot. I don't wear a lot of liquid lipsticks. Uh, the only one that I truly wear a lot is this Ofra one in Atlantic City. I love traveling with this because it just stays put, so I want to keep that. But these other two Ofra ones, as much as I like these, they are super comfortable in terms of formula. I just haven't reached for both of these, and I feel I have shades like this in my regular lipsticks, so I don't need to keep these. So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, and then I have uh, this Catrice one, Generation Matte. Didn't like this at all, so need to get rid of that. My Kat Von D ones I find super difficult to declutter um, because I do really like these. So I think oh, I'm going to keep this one because it's such a bright orange. And Bauhaus I want to keep because it's very similar to that Maybelline Color Blur one I just got rid of. This coral shade and Beloved I never really liked, so I can get rid of that. I want to keep Lolita. I want to keep Double Dare, because I love those. And then I have Lovesick and Nosferatu. I think I'll keep Lovesick, because I don't have much like it, and I'll get rid of these two. Um, and then over here we have Anastasia. As I mentioned, these are my favorites, so I'm just going to keep give these a, a quick sniff. To see if they're still good to go. Like this shade, Madison. Oh, love it. This still smells good. Oh, this one I probably want to get rid of. This is Karina, this bright watermelony shade. This is my oldest one. Oh, it still smells okay, but I don't like the shade. I don't wear that. This is Heather's, which is a deep reddish shade. That spill smells okay. And I have Dusty Rose, which is one of my favorites. So that one smells good. Yeah. Yeah, smells good. And I'm going to keep that around. Um, then I have these Maybelline ones. And I bought these because I really like the formula. But now that I, I have, like, I've just fallen out of love with liquid lipsticks. <laughs> so I think I'll keep Pioneer, because for reds, you know, if you don't want it to budge, then a liquid lipstick can be really nice. This one I remember Escapist pulling in a really weird ring around my mouth. I like Ruler for, like, a nude option, but I have so many other ones. Shall I just keep the interesting shades? Yeah, I don't need this 
I like this fuchsia shade in Romantic, so I'll hang on to that. I really like Visionary, and then I'll get rid of these. Or maybe, I like, I'll keep Heroin, because this is more, like, the Kat Von D one is brighter orange than this, and I don't have that many bright orange, like, actual lipsticks. And then I'll get rid of Lover. So I'll get rid of three, and I'll keep the other four. And then we have this over here. And here we have one of my favorite lip combos by NYX. This is Con and Stockholm, so if I do an ombre lip, I tend to reach for these. This still smells good. And then I have Morocco. And that still smells good too. Um, that's an orange toned red. But I have other orange toned reds in my, in my actual regular lipstick collection. So do I need to keep these? Like, in terms of nudes, I do really like these two, so I'll keep that. But I'll get rid of Morocco. Hmm, it's a bit painful. These two by the bomb, the Meat Matte Hues, I'm going to get rid of. I never really wore these a lot because they have a minty smell, and I thought I'd really like that, but actually turns out I don't like that at all. So I'm going to get, get rid of those. And then I have two of these Milani ones, and ever since my last declutter, the only one I've used is the Chromatic one, because I like that for an ombre lip, so I'll keep that. But this one is really stunning too, and I don't have that many purpley lipsticks, so I'll keep both of these. Let me see, are they still okay? Yeah, they still have that sweet, sort of like, Jolly Rancher kind of smell. Yeah, these still smell okay. So I'll get, I'll keep those. And then I have Colourpop. And we all know about Colourpop, that their liquid lipsticks don't last very well, so... This is Dopey, and that, well, this one I know I can get rid of. This is Hutch. That's too dark, and I don't wear it. The one, oop, I want to, I'm dropping things. The one I want to keep the most is Tulips. That I wear a lot with that Milani chromatic shade. This smells fine, so I can keep that. And then I have Viper, which is like a pink which smells fine. Let me see how dopey smells. Yeah, that smells fine too. That's an ultra satin lip. This is an ultra matte, but that I think this is a bit too dark. Like I bought all of these online and then I like dopey better, I think. I'm already keeping Visionary by uh, Maybelline, so I don't think I need to keep this like gray tone purple called Femme by Colourpop. This I'm going to get rid of. This is Nar uh, Mars, not Nars. I'm keeping Romantic by Maybelline, so I don't need to keep that hot pink. I also don't need to keep this dark red. This is Avenue. I never wear it. And then I just have some more nudes. This is the Ultra Matte Lip in Tool. Oh, Tool I like. Yeah, this is still fine. It's a bit like, because I keep these upside down for the shade, but these this I've used the most out of all of my ColourPop lipsticks. And this is Echo Park, and that smells funky, so that needs to go. And this is, what's this called again? This is Frickin' Frack. And this is a little mini that is still fine, but that I never reach for because it is a mini. So I'll get rid of it. Alright, so that is liquid lipsticks. And then we have our bullet lipsticks. And as you can see, there's quite a few here. Let's do drugstore first. And this is where I need to get rid of quite a few because I definitely don't wear all of it. This is the backup I bought of my favorite used up Power Plumping Gel Lipstick in 030 Speak Up. So that I need to keep. And this I also love. This is the Mabel Makeup Revolution Stiletto um, Velvet Lipstick. This is a great red and I am slowly but surely falling in love with my Glossier Generation G lipstick in the shade Crush. I just had to really get used to using this, but now that I know how to use it, I have been wearing it a ton, so yay! Um, here we have a lot of essence that I don't wear, because I don't like essence lipsticks. But I do want to keep around at least one. I think that out of all of these, I like this one the best. This is from the This Is Me Nude line, and this is the one I decided to keep. It's in the zero, shade 06 Real, but I'll put, put it in my box of products that I need to keep around for review, so that if I do a full phase of Essence, 
I have it around, but I don't need it. I do like, these are the matte, matte, matte lipsticks. And these are nice. These are really nice. Isn't this the one? Yeah, this is perfect match. Stunning nude, but I never wear it. And the same goes for these two. This is out of the box. And pink up your life, especially this one. It's just a really nice hot pink, but I have enough hot pink as it is. So those can go. These Topshop lipsticks, I mean, these used to be my go-to OG favorites. And I used to swear by these, but I just don't wear them anymore. It's, uh, it's terrible. I don't wear these. This is Macaroon. Macaron? Macaroon. Oh. Yeah. It still smells okay. I mean, this is a really nice corally shade, but I don't wear coral, so that can go. Rio Rio. This is the one I've used the most. I need to keep that. That's a great orange toned lipstick and I'm getting rid of Morocco so I can keep this. This is mink. This is a brown. But I, I, I would wear whirl. If I think brown lipstick, I wear max whirl. I don't need to keep that. I have Wicket, which is a nice like berry shade. But in terms of like drugstore pricing, I don't reach for that anymore. I have other shades in here that I like better. I think I want to hang on to Boardroom because this is a really nice like cool tone taupey shade and I don't have too many of those. So. And then we have Maybelline and Maybelline lipsticks are great, but I also find that in terms of like lasting powder, like how they like hold up like this one I had to push back in so many times this is in vibrant violet and it's a purple lipstick and I just need to get rid of this because it's it's so manky it's so manky um, of the ones that I have here the ones I wear the most uh, is definitely mesmerizing magenta um, this is a great like magenta shade uh, so that I want to keep still 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 smells okay and I really like All Fired Up. This is a great, like, pinky red. So I want to keep that because I don't have that many pinky toned reds. Um, these two bolder shades, like darker shades, Burgundy Blush. I almost decluttered it last year. But this is why I'm getting rid of that Topshop lipstick because I've been liking this a lot. And then I also have Midnight Merlot. And I think it's actually quite similar to Burgundy Blush. Let me swatch these. So that would be Midnight Merlot, a really nice, like, like really, like, red wine kind of color. And this is Burgundy Blush. Ooh, that's a lot more red. Ooh, I'll keep both, because one of them is more purple and the other one is more red. Do you see that? And then we have these two, and I think I'll just get rid of both. Uh, this is Hot Plum. This is one of their vibrant, flash, whatever range. This is a metallic copper rose. I just never wear these, so those can go. These two Milani lipsticks are super old. They do smell okay. D Matte Darling I'll get rid of because I have plenty of other nudes and this is Matte Orchid. Of the two, I wear this the most. It still smells fine. Keep. And these are some newer things. These are the ColourPop Velvet Blur lipsticks. I have mine in Sorry Not Sorry. So this is taking the place of that Maybelline purpley lipstick. I have Mesmerize, which is a pretty nude. And then I have Super Bloom, which is like a reddish coral. So keep all three of those because I love it. And then I have these ones by Zara. Love those as well. I have UM16, UM7, and I have UM01. I have a nude, a bright fuchsia pink, and a red. These are quite new to me. I still have to review them, so keep around. And then I have these three by Kiko, and I have uh, Velvet Passion 315, 328, and this I can't read, 319. And I think 319 is the one I've used the most. It's like a like more cool toned, like plummy, neutrally shade. This one I've barely used. Again, I need to review these. And this one is like quite nude. So I keep these around for the review, but I'll probably hang, end up hanging on to the shade I wear the most. Um, 
and then get rid of the other ones. These two I'm going to get rid of. This is Julienne's Red by L'Oreal. Lovely pink toned red, but I like my Maybelline one better. And this is Quo's Date Night, which I just don't wear. And look at that. It looks horrible. That's expired. And this is pretty much, apart from a couple of these ones in the back, so let me just take these out. These are H&M Beauty. Again, I need to review these. I have Life at the Taupe, Free Spirit, and a Blaze. So three really lovely lipsticks that I need to try more. And then I have these two Rimmel ones, which I know I can get rid of because both of these are super old. So I just need to bite the bullet and get rid of them. These are all Catrice. And I like all of these. <laughs> um, but some of these have been discontinued. And I now have a red that I like better than Josephine's Joy. So that can go because that was limited edition and I've had for a long time. These are the three power plumping gel lipsticks apart from that 030 shade that I wanted to keep. This is 070. Oh, this I'm going to get rid of because I, I won't wear a shade like that. Why did I keep that? This is a really nice, lovely, like, orange-toned red, Feminista. And this is like a red, like a regular red? Yeah. And this is the Futurist Femme. And these are really nice. So I'm going to keep those. And then these are their older Ultimate Color lines. Oh, this Ultimate Shine lipstick can go. This is super old. But these Ultimate Color ones, I think I have the ones that I like, and I would like to keep them. Yeah, I have my little, let me move this over. I have my little peony. It still smells fine. These are really nice like cream lipsticks, but I think they've replaced them with other, with a new line that I still have to try. Legendberry, this is such a nice like dark shade. Um, and then I have hot and spicy. This is, if I go for a coral, I go something for like, for something like this or like this because this is kiss kiss hibiscus so i'll keep those and then i have plum fiction which is a nice plum shade and i do still wear these from time to time this is oh juicy and this is an orange which still smells fine too even though it's quite old these three i've decided these are the ultimate stay i'm going to get rid of these these i have to get rid of because they're super old you can no longer get them and I never wear them, and I feel I have similar shades in these other lipsticks. Then I have the Ultimate Mattes and the Demi Mattes. The Demi Mattes are quite new. As you can see, these are the shades I liked. These are 9 out of 10. They now do a couple of new shades for the update, so maybe I want to get, get some of those, but these I all really like, so I'm not going to touch those. Um, and then I have my high-end lipsticks. These are all luxury, like, this is Bite Beauty and MAC. Yep, Bite Beauty and MAC. <laughs> and then this is everything that I have by, like, Charlotte Tilbury, Urban Decay, Lee Uh I have uh, some YSL in here, Estee Lauder, NARS, and Chanel. So this is all, like, high-end and luxury. There isn't any MAC lipstick that I want to get rid of. I can tell you that much. Like, none of these I want to get rid of. I thought I was going to get rid of Velvetetti. This is my oldest MAC lipstick and it still works. Still smells okay, doesn't do anything weird on me, and I just really like this shade. I just wore it again this last season and I was like, yup, love it. It's just because I was wearing that other Catrice shade so much last year that I just ignored some of these and then of course I just need to give them a, a check whether they are not, that, whether they haven't gone bad, but I'll do that off camera. My Bite Beauty lipsticks, I love. You know I love these. I just don't have any space to put that spare by lipstick that I now have. Like that extra one that I got as a gift with purchase, it doesn't fit anywhere here. So that's a bit of a shame. So I may want to switch some things around so that lipstick can fit with the Bite lipsticks, because I love all of these. I just do. Now, these still smell fine. These work fine. Like, these are all great. Pepper is one I use a lot. Oh, I love these. Rhubarb. You want, you want to see a casualty? Wow. Look at that. <laughs> if there's going to be another lipstick I use up, it's probably this one. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's rhubarb. 
And then I have my two custom ones from the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. Love all of these. Not gonna touch them. Alright, so these are all of my more like luxury lipsticks. So I've got my Charlotte Tilbury here, Urban Decay, and there are only a few things that I would like to get rid of in here. I know that this Besame lipstick is super pretty. It's from their Snow White collection, but I have a ton of reds. And to be quite honest, I've used this a few times, and I just think that this bullet is quite finicky. I bought this because I wanted to try the Besame formula, and I do really like it. I just think that the way this applies, and for how many reds I already have, I don't really think this is a must-have, but I really like the packaging. So that's why I am going to put it in my little, like, lipstick collection storage type thing. So I'm going to keep it around, so I'm not decluttering. Um, and the same goes for this one. This is an Estee Lauder lipstick in Impulsive. Uh, this is a lovely lipstick. It was one of the very first nudes that I bought that I felt really worked on me But by now I feel it's a bit old. I really like the packaging. So I do want to again uh, Put it in my little lipstick container and then we're left with these ones and I think This is my Estee Lauder lipstick in black Cassis, which I like for a very dark option and I also really like Betty, but from Anars. This is their Audacious lipstick. The only problem I have with this lipstick is that because it is a cream formula, it kind of just goes all over the place. So maybe it's just time to say goodbye to this one and keep that. Let me do a quick swatch to see how these compare, because I feel that this is very purple and the other one is more red, because I remember buying the NARS because I was looking for like a good deep vampy red and I just hadn't found anything like this. Now see, do you see how red that is compared to that? So I do want to hang on to that. One thing I'm going to declutter is this lipstick by Chanel. This is Coromandel. I used to wear this quite a bit over the uh, like the uh, holiday season but I just have so many reds that I don't feel I need to keep that and I have kept another lipstick with that same packaging um, in recent years, so I don't need to keep it for like collector's purposes. These three Urban Decay lipsticks are old because these are device lipsticks and that's what they do now, but I have these old Revolution lipsticks and I believe that at least one of these started to smell really badly. Let me see if these look all right. Like they still look okay. They don't look like they have a lot of things on them. But I remember when I did an Urban Decay lipstick video that some of these felt a bit tough to apply. This one feels okay. How about Venom? How does, what does Venom look like? Yeah, maybe you should just be on the safe side and just declutter these. This is a shade that's very similar to Max Rebel. So I feel I have that shade by MAC and I prefer the MAC one. So I'll just, I'll get rid of these because they're just super old. And the thing is that uh, Urban Decay still does them in their Vice line. So if I really start missing them, this is After Dark. This is a matte one. This I got later, but you know, I could potentially repurchase them. See, I think that Venom and After Dark are very similar, but one is matte and the other one isn't. So I'll hang on to this. And I think everything else is going to stay because I like all of these and I wear all of these. It's all starting to slide around, but this stuff that's in the middle I'm getting rid of, and it's 87 lipsticks. So, uh, or lip products, I should say. So that's what I'm getting rid of. And then I am going to say goodbye, because this is my lipstick declutter. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make new videos three times a week, and I have one more declutter coming your way. So stay tuned for that. Bye!